Welcome everyone to the Ken Hill Podcast. I'm Ken Hill. My goal with the podcast is to share the techniques and habits of what the best motorcycle riders in the world do to thrive and survive in a sport that has consequences. Using my 20 plus years of riding and training at the highest levels, I want to make these techniques and habits accessible to every rider in the world. The podcast structure is deliberate. I don't have sponsors. The duration relative to many other podcasts is short, making it simple to listen multiple times, and I only release a new podcast when I feel I have something to share. I'm not cranking out podcasts because my sponsors say I need to. You listeners are my sponsors, and I appreciate the donations, which can be made via the podcast page on my website, khcoaching.com. And now, here's today's episode. Welcome to the Ken Hill Podcast. I'm Ken Hill. Actually, I guess I should say welcome back uh, to the Ken Hill Podcast, uh, since I know it's been a while since uh, since we've had one. And I wanted to take the time uh, with this shorter podcast to kind of give you an idea of um, what I've been doing, what's going on, where the podcasts are going. And uh, I wanted to do, again, I wanted to do this separately rather than um, adding it into an intro into another one. So, gosh, a lot has been going on. Um, and it's, uh, it's funny, the, the, the more that I say no to things, the busier uh, that I get. And um, the podcast, trust me, the podcast I think about every single day and actually end up working on them near every day because I've got all these different podcasts that are sketched out. And uh, when an idea pops into my head, I'll, I'll you know, grab my, grab my tablet and, and write something down into one of them as an idea or a thought. Uh, and then uh, when it comes time to, to work on it, it all this, this crazy amount of information uh, is in there. So uh, I'll talk about a few things. What, I was, what I've been doing in 2021, where, what I'm going to be doing in 2022, um, as well as let's have a little bit of a refresher about what the podcasts are about. And... You know, the podcasts are are really about making the information available to everyone of what the best writers in the world are are, are doing. And for some reason, we still see it in the sport, right? Which is, it's it's unobtainable. And it's not. Um, If if we look at what the best in the world are doing, and we'll touch on that uh, in a second, um, if you if you you know strive to have the techniques and habits they do, then you can do this. It's a sport, and it can be trained like any other sport. And I, I this this just gets um, reaffirmed uh, with me literally every time that I ride or every time that I that I work with uh, with someone. So the podcasts are designed to get this information out there, and uh, they're also designed to go pretty darn deep on a lot of topics instead of you know taking a topic and going you know, 10 feet wide and a couple inches deep, you know, we're taking one topic and going, um, you know, 10 feet deep with it. So that's really what the podcasts are about. And uh, as everybody knows, if you've listened to my other podcasts, uh, I'm not going to bring one out until I have something to say. Um, I don't have sponsors. Um, there's, <laughs> trust me, there's no, uh, there's no money in this. I appreciate the people that have donated. That has been awesome and, and you're, you're, you're great. Um, but yeah, to have, I think it's now 1.4 million listens, um, and, uh, to essentially have no income. Um, I, yeah, I mean, it, it can, it can sting a little bit, but it's also great knowing that this information is out there. And honestly, it helps keep me accountable as well, right? That I have to, distill this information, you know, write it down and distill it. So all in all, it's a good thing. And I wanted to touch something again about where the methodology comes from, because a lot of my work does happen at that last 1%, right? So it's actually at the last 0.01%. And that's an incredibly important point, because as we hone what gets better at the last 1%, it makes it makes the first 20% that much clearer or the first 40% that much clearer and also helps work on the communication for that first 20 or 30 or 40% or whatever it may be. So I think it's incredibly important. 
And then to, to touch again on what the best in the world are doing, I think this is also another absolutely incredible point. Because this isn't this this isn't sort of the same old thing all in all again. Yeah, the fundamentals the fundamentals are, are the same, right? The fundamentals don't change. The nuance of them changes, and how we communicate them hopefully evolves and keeps changing. It gets better. It gets better. But you think about it. The reason that we want to emulate what the best in the world are doing is because it's dynamic. It's it's always evolving. It's always, they're always trying to improve. And man, have we seen that a lot the last couple of years in, in, in Grand Prix and even World Superbike, even Moto America, we've seen, seen it as well. So it's interesting how that's not translating down to the track day level or even at the club level, right? But we're seeing it in these other, these other levels. So it's an important point to think about what the best in the world are doing, because again, there, if there was a better way they would do it and, and, it's dynamic, it continues to improve. So I wanted to bring those points across. So yes, there'll still be lots of podcasts. I have sketch after sketch after sketch after sketch done, um, but they take, a, they take time. Uh, a couple of the ones on, I'm working on right now are, are well over 20 pages, and uh, I've, gotta, I've gotta get those distilled down. So um, hang in there with those. Okay, so 2021 saw me back full-time at Moto America. I've been basically full-time in Moto America from about 2015 through 2019. And then of course in, in 20, uh, I think I did four rounds in 20, uh, and then full-time uh, last year. And it's, it's been great. And uh, my, roles, my role has changed a little bit. Uh, I'm working, you know, working with Northeast Cycle um, with a couple of great riders. At, at slightly different levels, which is which is a whole nother a whole nother story, um, because those their their levels are actually their paths are, are getting closer and closer and closer together, which is which is what we want. But working again at that sharp end and having to uh, having a little bit of a, a broader role, with, which is not only the rider part of it, but also the bike part of it, as well as the the team management side of it. It's it's been great. Um, teaches me more about what the rider needs to work on, teaches me more about um, the bike. I've made massive strides in understanding bikes, even though it's just, it's, I just, the more I learn, the more I feel like I don't know anything. Um, and uh, the work with data has been fantastic. So a massive step up in data. Uh, we'd worked on data a lot before, but um, now we've, we've got data is just, is just, um, encompassing pretty much uh, pretty, is pretty much everywhere in what we're what we're working on so yeah the, um, for 2022 we'll be back uh, at Moto America as well and then uh, the track day company that I co-own track time up in Washington State and you know the idea with track time was to make a home or a hub um, for what I do and also the moto pilot program that uh, I've written and for the people that don't know um, the Moto Pilot program is, is it's essentially everything we do. And they're, they're a set of um, guides. There's six guides. They're written in four rider levels. They're written um, with for two instructor levels. And they basically take all of the objectives um, that, that we do, that we, that we train people with, and they're in, uh, they're in written form. Um, and they're in a form that uh, takes you through a set of guides. So there's a base level, um, uh, an advanced level, a master level, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, and the more important part of it is the instructor levels. This is something that, um, that's actually really where the guide started from is because there's just no consensus in this, in this sport. And um, that's, that's sort of, again, what track, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more about track time in just a second with that. So the guides, um, I've, I've figured out, uh, kind of figured out what I'm going to be doing with them. And um, uh, you'll see those become a, um, a very prominent part of track time, um, as well as um, some, probably some moto pilot schools up in the Pacific and Northwest. So you'll see some moto pilot schools even at a base level and we'll have some advanced schools and we'll probably have some racer schools um, that go along with that. So um, we're already doing moto pilot schools. I've already, I've already um, have some going on. 
um, at, at other places and uh, they're, they're doing, they're actually, the, the curriculum's doing great. So see some, you'll see some of the Moto Pilot program branching out that way. And again, sort of the hidden agenda with that is training instructors. So if that's something you're interested in, then, then we definitely can have an offline uh, talk about that. But yeah, the Moto Pilot program, um, I had originally thought about making it really readily available for a lot of people to be able to purchase guides, have online training. And the reality is there's just, there's, there's no money there. <laughs> that's the reality of it. And I, I, I hate to be that sort of callous, but that's the reality of it. So instead we're going to double down with it at track time. Um, we had a great year with it last year when we debuted it and um, we're going to continue uh, working with it there. So that's a little bit of the update with um, track time and the Moto Pilot program. Last two things is, yeah, data. We've really stepped our game up with data. And whether it's, it's rider data, so the inputs that the rider's putting into the motorcycle and we're working with those, or um, the data that comes out of the motorcycle. So whether it's, it's the, the ECU parameters or the suspension parameters. We've, we've stepped our game up with that dramatically. And um, yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's the rabbit hole for sure. Um, but it also, at some point, um, of course, we, we, I, have a, I have a data, I have a, actually a podcast coming out on data. That's the one that's, that's, oh my gosh, it's already 20 pages and it's not even close to being done yet. Um, that uh, working with data, I, I, it's fantastic. And um, there's different aspects to data, which we'll get into. Uh, but working with data has just become um, a huge part of our program and not only for the information, but how people learn as well. So that, that's been great. And the last thing that I spent some time with um, quite a bit this year is car driving. And uh, for, for a couple of reasons, um, one, it's really damn fun. I mean, that's, that's actually the reason I kind of got started into this, into motorsports is because I love cars and I wanted to be in the cars and never could afford it. Um, well, I ended up getting my own track car um, this last year. I had to, <laughs> had, to, had to sell my truck to do it, but uh, I was committed to doing it. And um, so I got a track car and I've been diving into the, to that world more. Um, I still do a lot of right seat work um, with students and still do some driving with other people's cars, but I finally got my car. And one, it's really fun. But the other thing with it is I finally um, get the opportunity to try some things that I haven't been in a position to, to try. Uh, uh, yeah. As a matter of fact, I was able to do, I did my first, um, I did my first day for myself in over 10 years uh, this, this summer. Um, yeah, I got to drive for myself and uh, try some things and it was great. Um, the other part of that, that is I'm, I'm teaming up with a electronics uh, manufacturer that um, uh, does data systems that looks at things quite a bit differently. And so that has helped me um, um, understand their equipment, but also understand the sport a little bit differently. And the car has been fantastic for that because I can go try different lines um, and, and get really quantitative information on whether things work or, or, or they don't work. So I'll be doing a lot more car driving. One, again, because it's really freaking fun. Uh, and two, it, it's helping uh, me understand uh, the dynamics of motorsports um, quite a bit better. And it's, it's something that... Um, um, again, I'll be, I'll be including more of, so, all right. So that's kind of an update of, of what's been happening, uh, in 2021. And, uh, yes, we're going to keep podcasts going and, uh, I've got some great topics that are going to come out for everybody. And I appreciate everybody's patience. Uh, and I appreciate all the people that have, that have written me and, uh, and donated. That's just been, oh, it's been everybody's so awesome. And that's why I'm, um, I'm, you know, staying doing this and, and motivated to help everybody improve. So, all right, on to more podcasts. Ken Hill Podcast 2021, all rights reserved.